Thank you for Patreon now for donating to the Patreon. Hey guys, Vandy is back in with the Carfight Vanguard as on the Vandy Weekly Vibes. Here's Jordan Tyke, Conscript, and Star, shall we? This time we finally have the finishing part of the Idol School for Lyrical Monasterio for set 3, so that's pretty good. Been waiting for this forever. And now we have some more reviews from set 7, which gives me really high hopes for set 7. For a very specific thing that I've been talking about for like every time we get support for it. So, let's hope I'm right. Set 7 do not disappoint me, because if I'm right it will come up next Thursday or this Thursday actually. So yeah, let's go and get this started, shall we? First up, we have Knight of Sincerity Alfonso, grade 2 and a set 5 Kishio, 10k base, auto is playing guard circle. If you have two or more grade 1 or lower rear guards in your back row, soul charge 1. Okay. It's obviously meant to be support for Leonore and get you that soul with your grade 1s. Um, I don't think Leonore needs this at all. If you're having soul problems with Leonore, I question how my deck is more consistent than yours because my deck is the definition of one of two things will happen. If I have a soul problem when I get to first grade three, when yeah, if I have a soul problem when I get to grade three, the first turn, if I have a soul problem then, then I will have a soul problem some point later in the game, but not directly after. But if I don't have a soul problem on first grade three turn, I'm guaranteed to never have a soul problem that entire game. Like Alfonso, in my opinion, he's a good card, but a good card for set six because definitely Leonor does not need soul in set seven or like, you know what I mean? We don't need directed support for soul charges like this. So if you want to run them, because maybe your Leonor deck's having soul problems, run them out of two of, but honestly, Leonor doesn't need this, so pick those you will. And then we have Tri Megneal Assault. I will never be able to say that. Try Tri, tri Gmeal Assault. I, I know what that's supposed to be. I just can't say it. Great one boost by Kishio, 7k base, auto rear, once per turn, at the end about it, boosted soul bus to stand it. Okay. One of two things from this. One, based off of how it looks, we finally got more Flagberg support. Hell yeah. Even though I'm not really that into Flagberg, I've been waiting for the boy to get more support. Um, or at least more like cards that feel like dedicated support to him. So now we have a standing booster. Now here's my thing. Leonorn. Leonorn has the ability to stay in the back row now. Two from the Vanguard's ability. One from this. Now, if none of you can tell what I'm getting at at this point... I'm getting at the fact that we're going to get a Leonor and Vanguard restand. I'm not saying we will. I'm just saying that we have the ability to stay in the back row now. I would be a little bit curious to see we getting a full board restand. Or not a full board restand, but like Leonor in the back row restand and then swing with them again. Uh, you know, try and make your assault all around good card. Provides me a little bit of insight of what might possibly come to be with Leonor. Now maybe this is just meant to be Flagberg support. Who knows? Either way, uh, good grade one. Uh, I like it, but Flagberg, in my opinion, still about a little too much, so two over three of. Then we have, let's go on the army of lyrical stuff. Literally, there's like 24 or 20 slides of just straight up lyrical cards. Let's go and get this over with. Squeeze out Unity, grade 2 and stuff I show, 10k base, auto rear, one place from hand, counter boss, one just card from your order zone, return to hand. Oh yeah, by the way, all these names, all these cards came straight from Discords. If there are any skill misprints or name misprints, I did not bother checking these because there were like 20 of them and I didn't care. So anyways, uh, you know, good order card, I guess, for genericness. It bounces your orders to hand and... This kind of comes in good with Michiru because Michiru basically allows you to replay your set order that you put on the order zone. Like, for example, what is it called? Finishing preparations or all in or all prepared, whatever it's called. Point is, you bounce the order to your hand you're play after you rest it, of course, to soul charge. Then you play it again, you rest it, you soul charge. Honestly, Michiru does not need this. Yeah, Michiru gets enough soul as it is, so definitely doesn't need the order helping it out, but. All around Unity is a pretty good support card to have, even just for outside of Michiru, because other decks that have card orders in Order Zone, it can just be helpful. So, I don't know, two of if you choose to run it, but I don't see the purpose in it, though. Then we have Classes Boring, Modiotu. <sighs> I agree, and the pink hair looks really good. Anyways, Grand Home Boost, 5k Shield, AK Base. Outer Rear, when it's placed, if you have a Great 3 or Greater Vanguard with Lucida and its card name, Karnabas won't use a curse play from your drop zone, add it to your hand. Okay, so you can be a little bit more liberative with your Soul Blasting of Curse Blaze to get them to your hand and then play them again. Okay, fair. Lucita really doesn't take up that much counter blast, so having an extra counter blaster that recycles your cursed plays, especially if you need to discard for this for discard fodder, all around is pretty interesting. I'm not against having her. I'm not gonna say she's a perfect grade one, but I am gonna say she's an okay grade one. So two over three if you choose to run her. And then we have Sudden Shower Lyora, grade 3, 200 Persona, 13k base. Audrey, once per turn, if you have a Vanguard, mid and its card name, current boss one, look at the top card, put it to top or deck. Sorry, yeah, put it to top deck or soul, and this unit gets plus five. Bushy is really addressing that problem of people saying Meteor has a soul problem, aren't they? They're really addressing that problem of people saying there's a soul problem. Again, I say, doesn't have a soul problem if you just don't use the grade one because half the time you don't need to. But okay, sure. Um, 
it, cool. You get the ability to deck stack, possibly get a free soul charge, and gets a guaranteed plus five. What's not to like about it? It's just a good grade three. Run it as your backup grade three for medial, I guess. Then we have Sound of Wings flapping in the wind. Sheer C. Is this Bushy's excuse to not give us angels anymore? They just give us angel based support or like angel looking support cards? I mean, granted, this doesn't have wings, but we definitely get an angel looking support card that has wings. But oh my god, I love the doves, and that name definitely sounds like it belongs on an angel. Anyways, uh, great deal to that persona, 13k base, auto rear when you're placed in, from your drop zone. Choose your Vanguard with Medial and its card name and give that unit and this unit plus 5k for the turn. Cool. So 18k on this thing, uh, 18k on your Vanguard, maybe 23 if you use the grade one. Here's the thing. Logically, you should never call this because you're going to have the restanding grade two. I mean, this is better, I think, because I, I don't remember what the restriction. No, never mind. Yeah, the grade two is always better unless you have no soul. Then play Cheersy, but like mm, most of the time it's going to be the grade two. So run it at a two of if you want it for versatility. Otherwise, stick to only this is your grade three. Then we have Water Diva Piercy, Great Dude Shinja Persona, 13k base. Continuous Guard Circle. If you have an orders, if, if in your orders when you have a set order, it gets plus 5k shield. So 10, no, not a 10k shield, sorry, just a flat 5. No, just no. I remember there are other cards that do the same thing, but better, and that actually have base shield to begin with. There's absolutely no reason to run this. Don't, please be smart. <laughs> And then we have Get Serious. Carissa, I swear, there's like a whole archetype of Get Serious cards now, isn't there? Maybe I'm wrong, and maybe there's only one other Get Serious, but I swear to God now, they've given us like at least three Get Serious cards. And yeah, it's not an archetype, but like I want them to give us a Get Serious ride on that gets benefits out of running the Get Serious cards. Except the Get Serious cards all like are archetypal support cards, which essentially means we can't fucking use them all in the same deck unless like they wanted us to give us some weird bullshit Lyrical Monstera hybrid deck. Anyways, auto rear when this new attacks a Vanguard. If your soul has two or more curse plays, soul bus one, this gets plus ten for the battle. At the end of the battle, put up to soul. Okay. Swings for number, goes to soul. Very easy cost because the deck has a lot of soul, honestly. Um, all around, I like Cardisa. She's a good grade three. I think she's honestly good for um, Lucetia, so why not run her at a two over three up? Also, I like how the Lucidia cards require curse plays. I mean, like half of them have required Lucidia, the other half have required curse plays, meaning you can just not run Lucidia and then just run the curse plays. Never mind, that's a blatant lie because both the curse plays require you to have Lucidia. Never mind, uh, is just a good card, three or four of. And then we have Hathelanius Girl Fawn. Great 3 turn drive persona at 11k base. Okay, what was the ride line that required this again? Hazlet, who I just remember was an actual thing. Continues rear guard during your turn. If you have another rear from a rear guard, she gets plus 5. No. No. The great 3s that are 13k bases that get plus 5 from other things are better because at least they require a magical number and don't require you not to have multi attack available to you. Um, Fawn is that shitty great 3 you run because. You have no other choice. Honestly, we have a lot better cards than Fawn, but fuck it. If you want to run Fawn, just to say fuck it, go ahead. But I wouldn't run it at more than a two of. Then we have Krapiliske Agre. I'm going to butcher all these names. Great turns at 5k shield, 10k base. Powerful auto rear when this new attacks. If you have no soul card, she gets plus 5 for the battle. Cool. She's a 15k swing. Strong 15. Honestly, that's a good budget card for... um powerful decks because it's just a 15k swing if you really need it in the early game that can be helpful in the late game depending on the situation it can be helpful so you know all your budget players run agria because i'm pretty sure the one powerful grade two is going to put you out of your budget so four of if you choose to run her in a budget build then we have drifting in paradise ryu tivin that is definitely said wrong but i don't care Anyways, great turn of stuff. I've pissed you. 10k base. Act rear once per turn. If your soul has two or more curse plays in your soul, soul boss one, this unit goes plus 10 for the turn. See, the thing about the curse plays is they're both grade one orders. So if you went first, yeah, if you went first, then you automatically have access to both of them on grade two turn. I mean, technically, you already have access to both of them on grade two turn, regardless if you went first or second. But yeah, um, point is, the deck can kind of get going on grade two turn so the fact that this is a 20k swing regardless of what grade you're at or regardless of what grade your opponent's at cool and that's the sole reason why it's the vanguard that restands and not this because otherwise powerhouse run this at four of because you have you definitely have the soul for it and 10k is just a fun number 
Then we have well-informed for media. I already made a point about this in my magazine deck profile, so I'm not going to bother going over it too much. Anyways, great chance of 5k shield, 10k base, act of rear once per turn. If you played a magazine order during this turn, counterbots once she gets plus 10 for the turn. Cool. So just a simple counterbots gets plus 10. Magazine, I don't remember them costing too much counterbots. It's only been a week since I played magazine yet. I don't care enough to remember about them. Point is, it doesn't cost too much counterbots. They have counterchargers, 20k swing, and it's a, I guess next re-stander outside of the blue frontier girl so why not actually wait no sorry blue frontier stands for herself yeah well this is the thing that you plus more numbers to all around good grade two helps for the plussing of numbers all around why not run out of three of or four of in a magazine deck then we have the thing that I swear I thought was an actual angel with white wings because literally look at it, but whatever. Is it? I can't tell. Are those clouds or actual wings? I assume those are wings. Anyways, Innocence resounding across the blue sky, Alveol. Um, can use rear guard. It, this unit is a friend. It gets auto. When it intercepts, it gets plus 10k shield for the battle. So she's a 10k swinger who, if she is a friend, which requires you to have something with friends in the back row... She will be a 15k interceptor. Okay. Cool. Um, since when has friends needed guarding power? To my understanding, the statement is a good offense is the best defense. And um, friends has a very interesting offense. And by interesting, I mean if you fuck with them, you will get your ass handed to you. So if you, if you think you need defense for friends, run this out of 2 over 3 of. Do I need defense for friends? No. My friends deck version of defense is you walk up to us, we beat the shit out of you with our fist. You, you try to walk away, we beat the shit out of you with our fist again. If you haven't learned your lesson yet, you get back up, we beat the shit out of you with our fist again, and by then you've learned the lesson, but you're already dead because you're bleeding out on the ground. Uh, no reason to run this. If you want to run it, it's a two of. Then we have Refresh Breeze Allial. Great tuna stuff, 5k shield, 10k base. I definitely said that wrong. She continues guard circle during a battle in which your vanguard and lead to one's card name attack. This unit gets plus 5k shield. Cool. So, 10k Interceptor. When your vanguard's a Medial. Medial does not need this. We have other targets to call. We have better units to have in the front row. This is a last-ditch effort card, and the fact that it made it on the board, you're already losing, and unless you start top-decking like those, like you're an anime protagonist with Psyqualia, you are not going to win this game. So, there's no point in having her if you want to run her, because you do need the defensive 3 of, but at that point, you've already lost. And then we have General Benevolence Mime, or Mimi, Mi, Mime, I know it's pronounced Mime, but I'm going to say Mime. Anyways, great chance to have 5k shield, 10 AK base. On her rear, when it's placed, if you have a Vanguard with Hazelin's card name, she gets plus 5. Okay, I'll take it. 13k base, plus the Hazelin, 15, works with that really good grade 2 that calls her, and she does be placed from hand, all around, good card, 2 over 3 of. And we have not good with heat York grade one boost five k shield AK base um, auto rear when placed from hand soul boss one look at the top five choose up to one lyrical shooting star S reveal it put it to your hand shuffle your deck so essentially search the top five for your main win mechanic put it to your hand shuffle the deck and all for the cost of a soul blast okay it's not bad it's good I like it I think it's an okay um, grade one put a two over three of in your magazine deck just because it gets the order. Then we have Searching for the Big One, Bree. God, I love her art, and I wish she was a ride line. She is not. Grade 1 boost, 5k show, AK base, auto rear when it boost. If your soul has two or more curse plays, she gets plus 5 for the battle. Okay, not all of them can be winners, but still having a 13k booster on um, a cursed play deck is still fun to have. So if you want a runner, 2 over 3 of them. Me personally, I think I'm better with my cursed play deck just because, like, it is really consistent in terms of just pumping out orders, so yeah, I, I'd rather take the order consistency over the overall power consistency, but hey, if you want the power, Breeze is a definite 2 over 3 of. Then we have coming ho Going Home at Dusk Marine, Grade 1 Boost, Fat Shield, AK Base, Auto Rear, when it boosts, if you put it rear guarding the bottom of your deck during the, the turn, she gets plus 5 for the battle. So a worse version of that Grade 1 that we got a while ago. That is every time something is put gets plus five. Because even though that grade one's a 6k and this is an 8k, one, she gets it for the turn. Two, it's not once per turn, which means you can just keep sending stuff to bottom. Three, it's not on boost. And four, it can um be called by that one grade one. Sorry, by that one grade two, because it has special power. So Marine. <laughs> she's good for a generic booster. Don't get me wrong. It's just 
the other grade one's just 10 times better. Like if you want to run a two of, but otherwise just keep with that grade one from before because it just gets more numbers. Then we have Minimum Style Fuka, Grade 1 Boost Factor Shield, AK Base, continues Rear Guard during turn, this unit gets plus 5, and if you have one or more cards in your soul, cannot attack or boost. AK, it has powerful, quote-unquote. Um, don't. Here's why. And the deck is made for, powerful, can't use it. Not only that, but also because Harmina requires her, for her resand to go off, she has to resand unit with powerful, and it's just a whole deal, and there are a lot more cards that add pressure with power over to something that guaranteedly has the 5k. Even though it's really easy to, you know, get zero soul and powerful, it's like, you know, it's a, a waste to have something that doesn't get the benefits from the rest of the deck that require units with the powerful skill, and also doesn't add a guaranteed form of pressure compared to just 5k power. So... All around, Fuka is okay if you want to run her, she's a two of, but like, I prefer Valley because at least Valley adds on hit pressure to whatever she's boosting. Then we have Playing with Wings, Rakio, the other thing I thought was gonna, based off the name, I thought was gonna be, um, what's it called? Uh, Black White Wing support, but apparently it's neither, and it looks really cool. Great on boost, 5k shield, AK base, auto when she's put on a guard circle. If you have two or more units in the back row, she gets plus 5k shield for the battle. Okay. Cool. You know, that's actually a decent shield. I like it. It's a 10k. Um, I cannot think of what deck this is for, but like, it's okay. It's a nice generic shield card. Is it my favorite? No. Is it one of the better shield cards? Eh. Give, I, 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 I give this a 2 of, or if like you really need the defensive power 3 of, but I, I'm not a shield guy. We all know this at this point. Unless the deck's meant to be shield full, it's, it, we're not putting in a shield, but 2 over 3 of, depending on what deck you're using this for. And we have Temptation of Frozen Desserts Ripley, grade two, grade one boost, five cash shield, AK base, on the rear when she attacks. If you have two or more grade two or greater rear guard, she gets plus five for the battle. Is this supposed to be for Lifla? Cause if you have grade two or greater rear guards, why would you call this? Isn't the whole point of Lifla just to build it like Bastion? I made that joke before where it's just Bastion and Kari combined. I don't is this for Lifla? I don't see the purpose in this. Because Lifla hits a lot bigger numbers without her, and would hit it more consistently if you didn't have her. The only thing, reason I could see behind it is she's a 5k shield, but mm, if you want to run her, do it. But otherwise, I don't see reason to run her in a Lifla deck. Maybe she belongs to another deck, I'm just not thinking about it right now. Then we have Leaning Against the Wisteria 12's Repli. That's where I've heard Wisteria before. I'm trying to figure out where I've heard Wisteria from. Also, this thing looks fucking cool as hell. It looks like it belongs as... um. Not Gem Knight support from Yu-Gi-Oh, no, uh, Melissa support. Great on boost by Kashiwa, AK base. Alder Rear will put a Blitz Order from your hand into your soul. Choose a Vanguard, gets plus five. Okay, so let me get this straight. The deck that was already super easy and consistent into getting your orders into soul, now you can get more of them into soul and get a plus out of it. I hate the fact that, but I mean, like, worst case scenario, um... I Lucita's a turn four deck. I hate how they make turn four decks this quickly, by the way. This this quickly. Not that they make all turn four decks like this, but I hate the fact that they make turn four decks this quickly turn into turn three decks. Like, I'm fine with Bruce because Bruce took a while to turn into a turn three deck because it took till set six. And that's fine with me. I don't mind it turning to a turn three deck. I just wanted to not turn to a two, turn four deck the second when it's released. Well, Blee, as much as I like her skill and I think it's really good, it's like and it's needed. Yeah, I mean, well, it's not needed, but like it's liked. It just feels like the thing that worst case scenario that made you a turn four deck is now very unlikely to happen if you're willing to give up defensives. So, I don't know. She's a good card. Don't get me wrong. A four of. I'm just disappointed that like the deck's one thing that made it feel natural is now just like yeah, fuck it. Let's just give us no minuses. Then we have Soaking in the Cold, Yute, Grade 1 Boost, 5k Shield, a 7k base, and guess what, this is the last Lyrical card, thankfully. Act Rear, if your Vanguard is a Medial, put it to Soul, look at the top card, and put it at the top or bottom. If you put it on the bottom, choose one of your plus 5 for the turn. Cool. Basically, the thing that you have on top is something you don't want to have on top. Really wish it was another go to Soul, because then that would have been a little bit more beneficial if you chose to keep it at the top, but whatever Yute all around is a... Good grade one. She's not horrible. I do like her. And for all you people complaining about the soul problem with Medial, here you go. She's like probably one of your best support cards now. Runner out of three of or four of me personally, probably gonna run out of three of. 
Then we move on to our sealed blaze maiden support. We are getting three more of these Tuesday, Thursday, and I have really high faith in the fact that we're going to get a third arm of this set because I don't know why. Because they specifically said three cards for bad. I mean, not specifically three cards for bad, but said next week we're getting or next Thursday, this Thursday we're getting three cards for bad Zagra. So I I really have faith that it will be bad that we will get that third arm, but I don't know for sure. Um, either, either way, Stealth Beast, Silent Crow, Great One Boost, Fight, K Shield, AK Base. Auto one is placed on a rear due to the card ability of any of your units. Until end of turn, he gets plus five. Okay, really good, because that works for a lot of Dragon Empire, actually. Works for Tamayura, because if you don't remember, Tamayura doesn't require you to call two. She either recalls the two dolls, or she calls one thing from Soul. You have Eugene, who can call this thing from deck, because it's going to call from anywhere. And then you have Bath, who can call it from drop. So, uh, and, this, and if this was a prayer dragon, it's not, and I'd be surprised if it is. But if it was a prayer dragon, then you can benefit off it in Nirvana. Again, I don't think it is. It might be, and I just don't know, but I'm pretty sure it's not. And then auto rear once per turn when your opponent's rear guard is in the same calm as is retired due to your card's ability. Counter boss one draw a card. So you can't pull this off easily in Tamiyura, but you can pull it off in Eugene because it's fucking Eugene, and you can pull this off in uh, Basil Graw because it's Basil Graw. So all around, Silent Crow is really good. It's like that one really good generic card that fits in most of Dragon Empire's decks because it can support them all well because it works with retiring, which half the decks do, and then it works with uh, being called by abilities, which literally more than half the decks do. So Silent Crow all around is a really good support card and a really good generic card, and it definitely deserves to be a triple rare for that reason alone, and I like it, so... I'm going to give it a 3 of. Also, the fact that this is a Morokuma unit makes me have really high hopes we're going to get a Morokuma. Actually, wait, no, we already did. That was Tomura. I really hope we get another Morokuma line that isn't the Cray Cross Epic stuff. Uh, either way, the Silent Crow is just a good card, so 3 of it. And then we have Sealed Blaze Dragon Samoradi. Now, here's... This is this card, for some reason, is the reason why I'm thinking we're going to get a third arm outside of what we said, what I said earlier about Bushy telling us we're going to get more... Or, like, get three more support cards for Bav. So, Great One Boost by Kishio at AK Base. Must say, this thing was beautiful. I love the wings. I love how it's just, like, shooting feathers and it's just colors. All around looks beautiful. Um, anyways, continuous rear. During your turn, if you have two or more cards armed to your Vanguard, gets plus five. Okay. Again, I say. It's right there. The two or more. We are getting a third one at some point. But, like... I kind of hate how they keep doing this. Like, every support card they have, more or less, now gets the skill. I think every one of those support cards now, it, like, that has come out recently, from the Festival Collection at least, has had this skill. They just keep copying and pasting it, which is not bad. It's just kind of repetitive, but whatever. And then Act Rear, if, you, if a card is armed to your Vanguard... Yeah, if a card is armed to your Vanguard, I believe that means... No, because that's not an auto. If it was an auto, well, yeah, it would mean the other way around. So, an act, if you already have an arm on your Vanguard, retire this unit, choose an arm from your drop, hand or drop, arm it to Vanguard, and if you do, you cannot arm again for the rest of the turn. Now, I believe how this works, correct me if I'm wrong on the rulings on this, but I believe how this would work is you, say for example, use the spear, draw, use the shield, then retire this, get a third arm, and then for the rest of the turn, you cannot arm, or is it you cannot arm at all at like before or after you use this effect either i'm pretty sure it's the first one but either way good card basically does the grade three but better because the grade three is counter boss one soul boss one on place you get an arm granted the grade three wasn't once per turn but this i mean technically this isn't once per turn but technically it is granted um it's a tentacle once per turn. It prevents you from arming for the rest of the turn. But a hey, on the bright side, it gets it from both hand and drop. Does it for free, and then proceeds to again do it for free. So four of and it's also recyclable by the way because Bav is grade one. So you know all around good grade one. I like it. I think it's really good for Bav support. Definitely a three of at the very least in my Bav deck unless they give us something exponentially better in next week's support line. And on to our next cards. First up, we have Beautiful Bullet of Dust Storm Jody. Grade 1 boost, 5 cash shield, AK base, act rear, once per turn. If you have a Vanguard with Eugene, it's card name, soul box 1, choose a grade 2 or lower unit card that is not a Sentinel from your drop zone, and put it at the top or bottom of your deck. Okay, all around really good for Eugene. It's just, you. and the best part about this is, too, you can soul blast a normal unit in your soul and then put it at the top. And that is amazing because while, yeah, you can't get a PG, that essentially means if you need to use Eugene's skill to repopulate your board, you at least get a guaranteed unit you are going to want on the board. All around, Jody's amazing. And you can just do Nigel, Nigels, and Randors, and all that stuff. Hell, you could loop a Persona. Actually, no, you can't loop a Persona, right? Because it'd be a grade two or lower. But either way, Jody is, an, is a really good grade one. And my favorite part about Jody, actually, 
is her wording. So I checked. I don't know if it says it on the fandom, but I checked the other Discord, because sometimes the two Discords I get these stuff from have different information. But this, I checked. On, on Discord, it says, if you have a Vanguard with Eugene in his card name. Not specifying heavy artillery of dust storm. Now, I said Bav might be getting a third arm set seven. It says if a Eugene, it says Eugene is card name. I I really feel like set seven is going to be the set that I'm going to love because it's going to give us grade four Eugene, possibly grade four Hexa. I'm not, if it does, then cool, but I'm mainly looking for Eugene and that third arm of Bav and that really coolish looking Verena. Really hoping Jody like is a premonition. Come on, Jody, bring home grade four Eugene. It exists somewhere in the world. I believe in it. Four of if there's actually a grade four Eugene. Then we have Dual Electro Dragon, Grade 1 Boost by Kashiro K Base. My words on looking at this. This R is wasted on such a skill. C continues weird during your turn. If your opponent's vanguards are grade 3 or greater, it gets plus 5k power. Okay, that's not bad. It's not a bad skill. That's a free 13k base on any grade 1, basically. Hell, maybe even a 12k base, but she thought that was too powerful. But goddamn, look at this R. This should have been a ride line. This should have been a this should be the grade zero, one or three in a ride line, or I could even see it being a grade two. It can be any part of a ride line, and then we just develop on this. It has such ride line potential. Look at it. This is not a common. This is a fucking ride line card. Ah! I wish I had a Vanguard skill. I wish I had any Vanguard skill. I don't even care if the Vanguard skill was Soul Blast one, Ditch one, Draw one, and just the same skill from Lyrico one. I would be fine with it. Cause look at this thing. It's fucking beautiful. I would run this out of four just because of its looks of nothing alone in every Dragon Empire deck, just simply because I like its look. Then we have Resonance Dragon, a really good card for um, Leonore. And I was half right. I did say Leonore was going to get a restander. I never said in what, though. I assumed it was going to be a Vanguard, but I guess it's a rear guard restander. Great 3 turns out Persona, right? 13k base, continues weird during the battle. If you boost it three or more times this turn, it gets plus five. Okay, essentially, if you boosted your Vanguard at all this turn, if you're on a Leonore, it's an 18k base because it's fucking Leonore. Or, you know, you can use it in any deck, really, because it just says if you boost it three more times turn. Doesn't matter if the Vanguard's boost it three more times turn. You can be on anything. So pretty good that he works generically for any deck with that. And then auto rear damn battle, he attacked a Vanguard. If you have a Vanguard, Leonorn's card name. And if you boost a total five or more times this turn, 8K, you boosted every game or every attack this turn. Karen Boss, one, shove it to soul, choose a rear guard and stand it. So remember earlier when I said Leonorn might be getting a restander because I saw this thing? All of a sudden, it seems like the joke I had going for this turned out to be true. Huh. Cool. Well, Resonance is good as hell. I mean, it, it obviously it would be better if it was a grade one, but I'm kind of glad it's not a grade one because we're getting way too many grade ones in this deck and I don't want to have like another Leord situation. So really glad that we got another grade three to add to the ranks. It's definitely a good grade three. It definitely deserves being a triple rare. Getting a restand, um... Going to Soul, see so plus off of Leonorn, having the possible plus five all around. If Flutter, I don't remember what Flutter Dragon's wording says, but I think Flutter Dragon has to be when your unit boosts a Vanguard, it gets plus two. If it was just every time you boost, Flutter would be broken. Just saying. So, yeah, it, it's just all around a good card. I like this. Honestly, running a four of an Leonorn deck because you definitely have the Counter Blast for it and you definitely want the Soul and multi attack for it. Especially when you have Triple Drive. Now we've got some nice support cards from Keter, both for PBD and Bastion, it would seem. Silent Sorrow Dragon, our first one being Grade 3, 200 Persona, right? 13k base. Really looks like a Youth Bird card to me, or it reminds me of something from another card game, who knows. Uh, Continues Rearguard, if your other Rearguards are tired this turn by your card's ability, he gets plus 10, active during both players' turns. Keter can retire during your opponent's turn? Because I don't remember Keter sacking during yours. And I can't think of any other deck. Well, I can think of decks that move stuff to Guard Circle and Premium. Huh. By any chance, is this meant to support that one card from... No, because this would, that would be Dark States. Is this... Are we getting something really powerful in PBD that can retire during your turn? Or am I forgetting a very crucial card that looks like Sax Rear Guards? Either way, Silent Sorrow seems pretty good. I like him. I think he looks amazing. And I can't wait to see where this goes. So let's give him a two over three of. Then we have Knight of Heavenly Sting Scofunzia, Great Tunes F5 K Shield, 10k base, auto act rear. If you have three or more grade three units, retire this unit, choose one of your opponent's rear guards, tech it to bottom. So okay, all around pretty good. Um it's just a kill itself, send something to bottom. There's nothing too bad about it. Granted it gets shut down by resist, but 
it gets rid of pesky units because sending them to bottom isn't necessarily a bad thing because essentially they have to waste a search to get to it unless they search the whole deck then you're kind of just making them use a skill but all around Skofasi is all around a nice grade too i like it because a lot of decks don't have immediate access to bottom decking so i don't know two of possibly to get rid of those pesky rearguards you might encounter when you play then we have bisecting knight to Great god, I love how he looks simply because of the moon in the background, and it sucks I will never use him. Great 2-5k shield, 10k base. Auto rear when you're Vanguard, two or more crits attack, soul blast one, and that in this unit gets plus 5k for the turn. So he's not at once per turn. So if your Vanguard restands while it has the extra crit, this can just keep soul blast and you get plus 5. And not to mention, you can use two of these. The best part about this is, it doesn't say the Vanguard's base crit has to be two. And this comes from the nation that can just start sacking the over. So you could kind of, in theory, well, it, granted, it involves a lot of convoluted bullshit, but you can combine this with like Lagrel and then just, you know, get swings with double criticals. And then if your Vanguard ever got the ability to restand, then God help the world if it had double crit. So two over three of, honestly, because it works as PBD support, but it also can work for other decks depending on how lucky you get with your draft check so don't underestimate him he might surprise you three of or two of and our last few reviews for the day are both leonor and support cards first of them being sympathize dp i believe it stands for decibel which to me sounds like deathy bell so grade three normal order play it by counter busting one you get to draw a card choose a card from your hand call it to rear or discard it and if you call a card until end of turn that unit cannot attack but it gets plus 10. okay so pluses and minuses to it it's like a weird version of Hell Blast Full Die from Bruce, where it's a, it's the same cost, same skill, except you don't have to discard. I mean, but the good side is you don't have to pick the card you draw to call it, so it has like the Leonorn skill on it. And then, yeah, well, these prevent it from attacking. Most of the time, it's just going to be a booster, so it's a plus 10 to the booster. All around, it's like, it's weird. I don't think Leonorn needs this. I love its art, though. It looks cool as fuck. Um... The counterblast is just to do a Leonorn again, but like give it heavy restrictions, but plus its numbers. I feel like it wasn't needed, but if for some reason your Leonorn deck wasn't outputting some big ass number or you wanted more numbers because who doesn't want more numbers, this is the card for you. Run out of two of. Then we have Festesso Dragon, Great one. Fuck. Great to SF 5k shield, 10k base. Auto was placed on rear from your hand. If you have a Vanguard, Leonorn, and its card name, by counterblasting one, look at the top three. Choose up to one Great 3 or less card from among them. Call in a rear, and until end of turn, it gets boost and discard the rest. Okay, pluses to this. This calls this immediately. So that's cool. This is a free grade three. Um, and not to mention the fact that whatever you call gets boost for the turn. So even if you called another copy of this, it gets boost. That's why it's restricted from hand, so you can't just loop it. This thing is honestly such a good support card. Because now you can afford to run grade twos for defensive power, and they will still get boost even if it's for the turn. And now this thing has actual reason to be in here, and now I have to figure out which grade one I'm dropping. And by figure out, I mean I now have to go get rid of Amelia because she's getting rid of immediately. Um, yeah. And that's pretty much it for today's reveals, actually. Really surprising, but you want to know why we had so many little reveals? Because I believe Chrono Jet is coming out within the next two days, so... Yeah. That's why we have so little reveals. And we have Bab this week, so... I'm going strong with my hope for bath. So I'm ending here. Hope you guys enjoyed. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe, join the Discord, follow the Twitch, and I'll see you all in the next one. Don't forget to stand up your vanguards.